I'm Keith Lee, Senior Technical Marketing Architect for VMware Tanzu. In this video, I'll show how with VMware Tanzu Standard Edition, you can consistently operate and secure your Kubernetes infrastructure across multiple teams and clouds with a global control plane known as Tanzu Mesh Control. Tanzu Standard also offers a full enterprise grade Kubernetes runtime, Tanzu Kubernetes Grid, which can be deployed across multiple environments, including on premises on vSphere and VMware Cloud Foundation, on public clouds such as AWS and Azure, as well as on hybrid clouds like VMware Cloud on AWS and Azure VMware Solution. So let's get into it. Here in VMware Cloud on AWS, you can see I already have an SCDC created where I am running a mixed workload of traditional VM-based apps and also my Tanzu Kubernetes Grid management cluster. So that we can centrally deploy and lifecycle manage Tanzu Kubernetes clusters, we first need to register the management clusters with Tanzu Mesh Control. Here in Tanzu Mesh Control, you can see I already have registered some Tanzu Kubernetes management clusters from different data centers across the globe with VMware Tanzu Mesh Control. So let's register a Tanzu Kubernetes Grid management cluster we just saw running in our SCDC on VMware Cloud and AWS. Registration is easy as giving it a name, specify which cluster group is the default for the workload clusters, click Next, and use the following URL in a command on the management cluster, which we will then register it with Tanzu Mesh Control. Moments later, and we see our management cluster registered with Tanzu Mesh Control. Just before we create a new Kubernetes cluster, I want to show how as an operator, I can see all of the Kubernetes clusters across my organization running across many different environments. While we can create Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters directly from Tanzu Mesh Control, we can also attach any CNCF conformant Kubernetes clusters running anywhere for not only visibility, but control of that cluster. For example, you can see here how I've attached AKS, EKS, GKE, and OpenShift clusters. Okay. So let us create a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster from Tanzu Mesh Control. Firstly, I select which management cluster from which the cluster will be provisioned. In this case, my management cluster we just registered from VMware Cloud and AWS. Then we will configure which provisioner in that management cluster, give it a name and assign which cluster group to assign it to. Adding the cluster to a cluster group means that all the policies configured for that cluster group will then be applied to the cluster automatically after creation. Next, we select the Kubernetes version, network and storage options, followed by the IaaS resources backing the cluster, such as resource pool and data store. Next, we can choose the type of control plane that is a single node or a highly available control plane and the instance type. And finally, we specify the number of worker nodes and their instance type. Click Create Cluster, and that's it. Tanzu Mesh Control is now instructing the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Management Cluster in our VMware Cloud on AWS SCDC to create a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster to the config we just specified. Moments later, and our cluster has been provisioned and added to our development cluster group, where all the policies of that cluster group have been applied. With Tanzu Kubernetes clusters now under the management of Tanzu Mesh Control, we can perform lifecycle management operations, such as upgrades. Other lifecycle management tasks you can perform is scaling the number of work nodes. And you can also download the kube config file to access the cluster. As you can have tens, hundreds, or even thousands of clusters, you need a way to easily group them. And cluster groups allows you to organize your Kubernetes clusters into logical groupings, for example, to align with business units or different environments and apply a common set of policies to these clusters. Tanzu Mesh Control has a number of policy types available. In Tanzu Standard, access policies and security policies are available. In Tanzu Advanced, this expands to include image policies, network policies, quota policies, and custom policies, so you can bring your own. Tanzu Mesh Control really provides us declarative fleet-wide policy management without having to go into each cluster individually. With Tanzu Mesh Control, I can apply policy to a group of clusters or a group of namespaces across clouds from one control point. We can apply policies to a group of namespaces with what we call a workspace. A workspace is a group of Kubernetes namespaces across clusters and clouds. As an operator, I'm responsible for the health of clusters across my organization. I can view the health of clusters here and I can quickly dig into any issues. We can also do this for workloads. And this view provides a view of all workloads across all of my clusters. And I can quickly dig into any issues if they exist. Clicking into a cluster, here we're providing some high level health information, which is necessary for operators to get started. 
but we also focus on integrating with industry-leading monitoring tools such as Tanzu Observability by Wavefront, which is a SaaS observability solution. Tanzu Observability allows you to collect data from many services and sources across your entire application stack, such as metrics, traces, and spans. From Tanzu Mission Control, you can easily open Tanzu Observability from the current cluster you're viewing, where we provide out-of-the-box dashboards that can be easily customized. Tanzu Mission Control also integrates with Tanzu Service Mesh, so you can easily deploy Tanzu Service Mesh into your clusters from Tanzu Mission Control with a click of a button. Using Tanzu Mesh Control, you can run pre-configured cluster inspections using Sonoboy, an open source community standard. For example, the conformance inspection validates the binaries running on your clusters and ensures your cluster is properly installed, configured and working. Operators need to provide data protection for the Kubernetes applications and the clusters that they run on. And Tanzu Mesh Control data protection capability leverages the open source project Valero under the hood and enables operators to centrally manage data protection on their clusters across multiple environments, easily backing up and restoring their Kubernetes clusters and namespaces. This was just a brief overview of Tanzu Mesh Control. To learn more about Tanzu Mesh Control and the wider Tanzu portfolio, please see tanzu.vmware.com. Thank you.